What's up Beach Bums? Today I'm going to go target Flounder specifically. I've been twice in, well oh, I've got two videos where I was going out and wanted to really kind of catch some Flounder but I got distracted doing other things so I owe you an apology. I owe the Flounder an apology because I haven't given them the attention and the love that they deserve. So today I'm only going after Flounder. We'll see if we can get some. But first I've got to open this cooler which I have not cleaned it out since the last time I went fishing. Uh, there's no fish in here, but normally I rinse it out, so I'm sure this thing stinks. Oh, oh yeah, that's bad. Woo, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna get to cleaning that. I'm probably gonna have to get some bleach because uh, that's just got like a bunch of fish slime and stink in it. But I'll see you on the beach here in just a few minutes after I get this done. One of the things that I'm uh, slightly superstitious about is having ice. I, I'm not superstitious about most things, but I feel like if I don't get ice before I go fishing, then I won't catch a thing. I, I can't get past it. So I gotta get ice. That's what I'm doing right now. Boom. That means fish in the cooler, guaranteed. This is always one of my most favorite moments of the day walking onto the beach. It's almost like a kid walking into Disneyland, especially on a day like today. The weather is gorgeous. The water is flat, which I know sometimes when it's flat and it's not always the best fishing, but just something about being out here on a day when the water's calm and it feels great. I just love it. So all my fish dreams are still uh, possible. <laughs> I can still catch some fish and I am spending the day on the beach and it's beautiful. So I'm glad you guys are hanging with me. Let's see if we can get on some fish. I just saw some reds tailing out here. I was not planning on waiting because the water's a little bit chilly, but I can't reach them <laughs> otherwise. So I'm casting right where they were. Maybe they're still there. Jig this a couple times. I'm, I keep getting distracted. I know I'm trying for flounder, but if there's some redfish, man, I, I can't pass them up. So we'll see if we can hook one. Looks like Larry's hooked up. I just met Larry. He, uh, he is a viewer on Facebook. He's over here. I was just walking out and he's fishing for some redfish and I saw some tailing just back here. So I think he might have one. So I'm gonna try to get up to him and see if we can get it on video. He's bowed up. <laughs> what you got? Like you, you, you want, air? You, you don't mind if I take it up here? There you go. I saw I, right after I walked away from you, I saw some reds tailing yeah, right off. Yeah. So, oh yeah, that's a red. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You mind if I film? Yeah. You, you don't yeah. mind? Okay, all right. <laughs> I've got Larry with me. He watches some of my videos, and he is hooked up on a nice redfish right now. So we're gonna get this this joker in. You're fishing with cut bait? Yeah, cut bait. Mullet, cut mullet? Uh, uh, squid. Squid, cut squid, okay, cool. That's a nice one. <laughs> oh man, he's big. Have you caught a red off the beach yet? Not yet. This is your first, your first on one? All right. Yeah, All right. The yeah, they, there's a school of them moving. Like I tried pointing them to you, but you'd already looked away. Yeah, she said you were caught. Yeah, they were they were coming your way. He don't want them. It takes a while to wear these old fights. Oh yeah, no, they're powerful fish. That's a beautiful redfish. Yeah, it is. He is nice. Probably one of the nicest ones I've caught. You got something to measure with? I, I don't. Not really. I've just got a, I've got an 18 inch ruler, so maybe we can just do some math. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful redfish. Check it out. All right, we'll see if we can get in the guest bit here. Nice red, Larry. Oh, Very nice. Oh Very nice redfish. 
All right, if you want to lay them down, I'll see if we can get a guesstimate here. I'd say 39. Yeah, hey. 39 inches. Nice red. Nice red. There are some birds working down here. They're hanging out, busting a little bit. I'm sure these schools of redfish are moving up and down the beach. I've already seen two. I know I'm after flounder, but I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Sometimes when you get out here, there's just too much going on not to pay attention to it. So I've got to go throw around these birds and see if I can maybe hook a red. Well, the birds have moved further down. I, I can't keep up with them. They are probably hanging with the school, I'm sure. Maybe they'll come back down this way. So I'll just focus on catching a flounder at the moment. But if a school of redfish come through, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to resist myself. I just can't not throw on them. <laughs> flounder are lazy fish. They will hang out in one spot forever. They bury themselves in the sand and they just wait on a, on a fish or a shrimp swim by and, and attack it so they're not moving up and down the beach so a really a good way when you're when you're fishing off of the beach to, to find them is just to keep keep moving keep trying different areas you know this is a lot different than fishing for pompano or something that's going to be cruising up and down the beach flounder are just lazy so you kind of have to go to them instead of waiting for them to come to you so i'm just covering as much ground as i can uh, dragging this gulp on the bottom, bouncing it every so often, and seeing if I can locate where they're at. Come on, flatty, 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 flatty. Where are you? Where are you? Flatty, flatty. So it's been really slow. I haven't had like even a bite yet. So I'm really trying to grind out and find these flounder. The, the schools of redfish that I saw, I haven't seen any more of those. So that's kind of died down too. I'm not usually a big believer in changing up colors and much with, with gulp because I think it's more about the smell than anything in the presentation, but if I'm not getting a bite, that gum, man, I gotta change something up. So I put a shrimp on and this is the new penny color, so I'm gonna try it out for just a minute, see if I can get a bite and see if we can find some fish. There we go, got a fish, finally. Man, this is something decent. Whatever it is. Oh, I think it's a red. Oh, yes. I was not expecting that. Didn't think it was a redfish the way it, the way it hit it. Yes. A real fish, finally, man. Golly. Dang. He's powerful. Come on, buddy. I'm pumped to have a fish on the end of my line. Dang, it's been a long time today. I haven't even had a bite. This is my first bite. <laughs> Not even a pinfish or a whiting or, or even a dadgum uh, uh, needlefish, man. I mean, nothing, nothing. On the gulp, this is on the, uh, on the shrimp. That I changed over to because I, I was not getting a bite on any of the swimming mullet, the sartreuse color. Nice, nice red. He is powerful. I feel the tail hitting my line. Hopefully, it'll hold up. I've got fluorocarbon on here, so should hold up pretty well with the abrasion. He doesn't look huge, but he is, uh, he's giving me a fight. Oh, it looks like there's some more out there. Nice redfish. He looks really nice. He doesn't doesn't look that big, but he he is he's definitely strong. It's not the biggest redfish I've caught, but he he's giving me one of the better fights I've had. Alright, 
come here. Come here. There he is. There we go. Nice redfish. Looks like he swallowed it a bit. Yep. We should be able to get that out. Sorry, bud. Didn't mean to drop you. Beautiful red. He's got some awesome colors on him. All right, let's see if we can get this. Get this out. Okay. Yeah, he swallowed it pretty good. He is, uh, he's going to be a little bit over slot. I mean, he's probably 20, 28, 29, maybe close to 30. I normally don't like to keep, keep over slots, but I did bring, I did bring a cooler and uh, a stringer. So I may keep him because, because he swallowed it pretty good and I don't want to just leave it in his throat and you know rip I'm trying to rip this out either way it's probably not good for him so i'm going to keep him i mean he's not too he's not too much over slot but again you know normally I, I don't like to keep them if they're over 26. obviously in the state of alabama you can but for instances like this i mean it is down his throat i just i don't want him to die and just waste of a fish so we're, we're i'm going to put him on the stringer i'm going to cut go ahead and cut that jig head off and we will keep him so don't get too mad at me i do not keep over slot fish even though in alabama you're allowed to uh, don't get too mad at me <laughs> i'm only doing it because i feel like he's probably going to die anyway he swallowed it pretty good i was thinking i had a flounder so i waited probably a little too long to set the hook so that is my bad but we'll put him on a stringer and we'll take him home Normally I don't keep him over 26. He's not too much over, but again, he's, he swallowed that jig head and I just don't want to put a fish back that I think is, is most likely going to die. So I'm going to take it home. He'll, he'll, he won't go to waste. <laughs> we'll eat him back on the beach after walking to the car, putting up that red fish. Again, I hate to keep him, but I'm, I'm going to eat him. He's, he'll taste good, but uh, I wish I could have let it go. Uh, don't, don't like keeping fish over red fish over slot, but of course, in Alabama, legally you are allowed to, uh, but I don't ever do it. But he's close, and I didn't want him to die and go away. So I'm going to keep fishing. Uh, the flounder has been a fail thus far. <laughs> uh, I don't even think a flounder has bit. So I'm going to keep giving it a shot. We got uh, maybe another, maybe another 30, 45 minutes of daylight, and I'm going to give it my best shot here to put one in the cooler. Well, the flounder bite is non-existent and it's getting to be low light and the water is pretty calm so i'm thinking top water so i'm changing it up in top waters i'm giving up on the flounder one top waters once again i always get distracted when i get out here and i can't focus because in top waters flounder fishing can be kind of slow sometimes especially in the surf in top waters you know you're walking you're trying to find them and if you can't in top waters it's difficult so i've got a top water spook on it's the spook junior I just called a redfish the other day using top waters. Using it, so I'm changing it up in top waters to see if I can find something else out here. Maybe there's some bluefish. Maybe I can hook another red. We'll see. First cast with the spook. Last cast with the top water. <laughs> that was quite unproductive. Didn't get any bites, so I'm gonna pack it up and take it to the house. Well, it was a flounder fail today again. Uh, got distracted doing other things, but top water. So there was no bite for the flounder, unfortunately, so hate that. But still a great day on the beach. Got to catch a nice redfish. Unfortunately, I killed it, so I'm taking it home. Uh, it won't go to waste, guys. I promise it's going to be good. And got to meet Larry, and he caught a nice 39 inch redfish, which I think he said was his first redfish off the beach. So congratulations, Larry. That was a nice fish. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't liked and subscribed, uh, like my Facebook page, hit that follow button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed on YouTube, go ahead and do that. Click that bell beside the subscribe button so that you know when I post videos. But guys, as always, stay bummy.